So before we start uh, the podcast, I just wanted to talk about Boss Play. Boss Play is a, an escape room out in Oceanside, California, and they've been sponsoring our show for the last almost year now. They're super awesome. We really appreciate them getting behind us. If you're around the Oceanside area or you can get there, you should definitely check them out. I think it's been over a year. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've, I've gotten like uh, the, the memories on Facebook where we've talked about it already from last year. It's definitely close. I don't know if it's been quite a year yet. I said it's been a year. <laughs> I, I don't think it's been a year. I think it was December. Uh, no, I definitely think it was like October. Maybe. It was the, the leg waxing. Wasn't that November? Uh, that was October. I don't. I don't remember. Yeah. But they've been supporting us for basically a year, which is more support than Taylor and I have ever gotten in our entire lives. So Yeah, like even by our parents. Yeah. If you could support them, we would appreciate that. Taylor and Alan talking about movies. They may be best friends, but they always disagree. Taylor and Alan. I seen that. So Taylor, you were saying that you finally watched American Vandal season one. I had never even heard of it. That's until... not true because I told you about it. When? When it first came out. I I don't remember that at all. I watched the whole first season in like one or two nights when it first came yeah, out. Yeah, that's and what I'm I did. Positive, I had to tell you about it. You might have, but I I really don't remember. I no. um. The, the second season came out on Netflix, mm. and I feel like that was the first time I'd heard about it. I don't know. Maybe. I, like, I'm like 95% sure I would have told you about it. I don't see why I wouldn't have. Eh, I don't know. Either Wait, way. What did you think of funny. it? funny. What you think oh, of I it? thought it was fantastic. Yeah. You watched... Real funny. Go ahead. Making a Murderer and Serial and all that? Uh, I have not finished Making a Murderer for some reason. Yeah. It gets kind of slow. I need slow. to. There, that's coming out with the second season. Yeah, and I'm trying to get in before that yeah. happens because I think to this point I've still remained to be unspoiled. I mm. guess I don't know if there's such thing as spoilers if it's a true story, but uh, I want to watch that. But yes, I I do like the true crime type stuff, yeah. serial and 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 all that. Yeah, I um, I got really into yeah. it with serial. But then it was like almost too much. I was watching serial or listening to serial, listening to Sword and yeah. Scale, watching Making a Murderer, and it was just like they're all yeah, it's the all the same. You get burnt out mm -hmm. real quick because they're all you gotta space it out. They're all made the same, and then so when American Vandal came out, and they just took the whole form of these documentaries, I was like, yeah. oh, this is so funny. It like, oh yeah, that's what made it great because it was. It was it was funny, but like serious at the same time. Yeah, like they, they weren't like they didn't come off as they were trying to be funny, you know, at all. Like, yeah, it wasn't some kids trying to make something or... that that paralleled making a murderer. Yeah, and uh, um, oh, it's so good. They get the high yeah. school life down pretty well. Oh, you know, yeah, like, I think so. Just all the the social media stuff, all the way they interact, and like what's important, what's not important. Because everyone takes things so seriously, and it's it's not that big of a deal in like as being an adult. You look at it, you're like, right? Who would care about that? But then it's like, oh yeah, no, high schoolers would. That makes sense. That adds up. Yeah, um, it's. I mean, it's it's real funny. It, it it drew me in, but then by the end, I'm like, I I really want to know what happens. Like this is. I, yeah. I need to know. So. Yeah, that yeah, was no. So that that was pretty good. I thought the guy. Um, Ooh, I don't remember his name. the The one who was accused mm -hmm. what was his name. I don't know. I haven't seen him for a long I, time. I thought that guy did great. Yeah. I thought he was so good. Yeah. So the whole premise is it's a mockumentary or like a fake documentary about this <laughs> school prank where someone came and spray painted penises on all of the cars, and this in the one staff kid, parking lot. yeah, in the staff parking lot, and this one kid gets accused, and he's claiming innocence. So some of the kids at the school start making a, a documentary about trying to uncover things because 
the way he draws a penis would normally have hair and the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the ones on the card did not. And it was just like, it, everything was like, uh, overblown and like made to be such a big deal, but they do it in the exact same way where they overblown, they overblow things that are like real. So like, yeah, with cereal, right? They had all the cell towers and they're like, oh, well, this got pinged. And then they were like, they would focus on it for so long and it would pay off to, you know, almost nothing, right? And, but you would get so invested because the way they told the story and that's what they do with American Vandal. They just tell the story really well and they make you realize like, oh, all these true crime things are just playing a game. They're just yeah. they're just messing with me. Like they figured out how to emotionally get me connected, yeah. and that's what's great about satire is that it reveals those um, I don't know those things that can affect you. And like ever since I watched American Vandal, I've been so uninterested in these true crime things. The worst has been the Shane Dawson documentary on Jake Paul. Have you been aware of that at all? No, I don't know who any of those people are. <laughs> I figured you didn't. Shane Dawson Shane? Okay. is a, an old YouTube personality. He uh-huh. uh, he had the same haircut you did in high school when he was in high school, when he was first starting uh, out. Yeah. Nerd. But he uh, now, so he's been around for 10 years. He like was super famous for a long time on uh, like YouTube famous. Um. And now he's been doing these like documentaries on people who are in doing YouTube, like investigative mm-hmm. type stuff. And there's this guy, Jake Paul. Do you know who Logan Paul is? Um, I know of him. I don't know what he does. I know he's a YouTube guy. That's yeah. Funny. So he makes vlogs and he did that whole Japanese suicide forest thing. Right. That's when I first heard about him. Um, so there's that. But his brother does vlogs and he is very similar just he hasn't had as many controversies he hasn't done as much stupid stuff he's done stupid stuff for sure just not in the same way so shane dawson is doing this documentary series on him but it's so bad it's like american vandal but in the opposite way like it's a serious thing and he's actually earnestly using the tricks to try to like manipulate Uh. people and yeah. it's like so exhausting. And, uh, well, I don't know. It's just funny huh. to see, compare everything now, you know, like when you have more of an idea. But uh, are you going to yeah. watch the second season? Oh, yeah, I started it. I, I, I've watched like the first episode. It's not as good. Uh, it's entertaining. I, I figured it would be hard to follow up. Yeah, they do a good job at making it logical, like why they would start a second season. Yeah. Um, similar to what they did with the first one, which I thought was great, because they were like, "Oh, we, we were doing this uh, vlog on Vimeo, and Netflix saw it and like decided to sponsor us and like paid for it, and that's how we upgraded all our equipment and all our stuff, and like, yeah, um, they do a similar thing to that to like get you into the second season, uh, but it it's like kind of drawn out, like you." You kind of got it with the first season and the second season is just more of the same. Yeah. And the the prank isn't nearly as funny. Oh, the 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 turd burglar? Yeah. Like that to me that like I don't know, is just not as much fun of a thing. Like the first season was so lighthearted because the prank was so kind of not innocent but like not mean-spirited. Basic. Yeah. Yeah. Um but I don't know. It's good. It's just not as good. Right. Yeah. yeah no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Well, anything else about American Vandal? Uh, nope. Yeah. That's all I got. We uh, would like to thank our sponsors one last time. Sorry that this episode lined up with the sponsor read that all the <laughs> talks about drawing penises on cars, but you know, that's what happens, <laughs> I guess. Um, but we do really appreciate Boss Play. You should check them out over at www.boss-play.com. It's a lot easier to read it and know it than it is to say it for some reason. Yeah, no, uh, it is. But yeah, we'll be back in a couple of days. Our next episode should be 
I think it's the first Fast and Furious movie. Oh boy, you're in for a treat. Yeah. 